For its 50th anniversary, Hobby brought out this Optima Premium van. It costs over 67,000 euros. And as an uh, anniversary edition, you'd expect something a little bit special. So let's have a look around it. Well, we'll start off by having a look at the dimensions. 680 centimeters long. 216 wide, 280 high. It's on a three and a half ton basis, which means it weighs under three tons. So you've got a payload of 568 for the entire vehicle. It's got a garage large enough for at least two bikes, possibly more. Let's come round here. It's got here. What's this? What do you think this is? Have a guess. I'd say it was quite an easy question, given the fact that the uh, the grill was here. It's the boiler. Right. So have a look. What else we've got? We've got the Tumor exhaust there. We've got the uh, cassette toilet. We've got the water. We've got the electricity inlet. There's the fuel. Do you like the colours, by the way? We can discuss that. I mean, it is rather striking I think uh, the color scheme right it's got XPS extruded polystyrene um, uh, on the floor which will be very good for insulation it's one of the best things you can use for insulation the best thing actually is a, is a vacuum but you might find that rather difficult to arrange a vacuum under your camper van Right, let's go to the back here. So you've got these two beds, can be filled up in the middle. You probably know how that works. You've got hanging space on either, oh, sorry, on either side. You've got storage in the steps up to the bed. You've got these lockers around the top. I don't like the colour, this coffee colour. I mean, it's all right in the coffee, but it's all right in the coffee with milk, but it's, uh, I don't think it really works in the van. Anyway, that's my opinion. You might think something else. Let's have a look at the kitchen. You've got a, a fridge under the uh, uh, cooker with the three burner hobs, and uh, there's drawers under the sink. Let's have a look in the bathroom. Now, I would point out the, in my opinion, that opens the wrong way. Anyway, you'd want it to open in this direction, or better would be if they given the door a miss and just put a sliding thing on because I put the sliding thing on anyway the uh, thing is you, you can't just take the door off now because the toilet is there and the sliding thing protects the toilet from the water I've got to say I'm quite impressed that these sliders actually are entirely waterproof because not all of them are right you've got uh, two plug holes there domestic ones which is I think is good it's better than one using the motorhome ones which are uh, much smaller you've got uh, I mean the sh this shower is pretty big really I've also got a thing here to protect the stop the window from getting all wet and if you don't want to look at me assume you're in the shower with me you can always open these things up here and there you go you can see inside the uh, storage there keep your soaps and deodorants and this type of thing up there and this one here will also open as well big skylight up here look at that mm, isn't that enormous so that's uh, that's handy so if it's raining you have run out of water you can stand in here and you can have a shower that was a joke not all everybody realizes when I it's a joke I have to tell people right Storage up here, pretty cute. Doors on either side, and a sliding in there. I think the kitchens that Hobby does actually are pretty, pretty good because they just offer you sort of extra space. Things like this. Now I appreciate you wouldn't leave anything up there when you're driving, but you know when you um, when you're parked, you're on site or whatever. That's pretty useful place to have things. Now, uh, here as well, okay, there's not a huge amount of prep space, but there's a, you sort of might be able to do things around here and around here. But you've got that enormous table to do things with, so that's quite good. As always, I can't see the point of this chair here, unless it's to 
sit on when you come in to take your shoes off. On the subject of shoes, I've got a place here down here to keep them. Entrance step and lighting there. And here you can see what's going on inside your van. There's your electronics and there's your heater and boiler. Now, being on a Fiat, it does have a smaller bulkhead than a Ford, for example, but it still offers all of this space up here to store things in. Not that I would have a... I would leave a glass, oh, it's fine, it's plastic. But I wouldn't leave anything above uh, where I'm driving, for obvious safety reasons. Maybe I'm a bit cowardly, but that's, that, that's the way things are. Now, um, lots of hobby vans um, do have this step here. Obviously, you want to, if possible, you don't want to keep the thing as flat as possible. In fact, flat throughout is the ideal situation. That, of course, means making a double floor, and uh, in this case, there wouldn't be enough room for a double floor. However, you know, when I stand here, I've got my uh, back against the bulkhead, and I'm standing it upright, and uh, I'm not yet crouching, although if the skylight were closed, I w there wouldn't be uh, much space there. Nonetheless, you don't want to bang your head on anything as you get out of the driver's seat, which I think is a very good reason for having a motorhome for two people. There's only two of you in it, n nearly always. And I get people uh, saying to me, what do I know? You might, you might want to go away with somebody. You know, I have six years' experience traveling around. The amount of people who go in more, more than a couple is very rare. I mean, I know you see them in films from the United States, so maybe in the United States people do this, but in Europe it is very unusual. Right, so, as the Optima, you might want to have a look at some of the films I've done from here. I've done lots of films on lots of vehicles from lots of companies. So, that, you might find that of interest. And I've probably produced some very nice um, vehicles this year. Although I must admit this 50th anniversary one, it doesn't need really to get my fancy.